External Evidence for Jesus and Early Christianity Josephus, Jewish Historian, 37 AD to 100 AD About this time there lived Jesus, a wise man. He wrought surprising feats, I, miracles. He was believed to be the Christ. When Pilate condemned him to be crucified, those who had come to love him did not give up their affection for him. On the third day, it was reported that he appeared, restored to life, and the tribe of Christians has not disappeared. My comment, Josephus is a non-Christian contemporary of Jesus' disciples, reporting that Jesus lived, did surprising feats, i.e., miracles, and that he was crucified, and it was reported that he was resurrected. Tacitus, Roman historian, early 2nd century AD, writing based on earlier 1st century Roman records. The Roman Emperor Nero fastened the guilt for his burning of Rome on a class hated for their abominations, i.e., rejection of Roman gods, called Christians by the populace. Christus, from whom the name had its origin, suffered the extreme penalty, i.e., execution, during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of Pontius Pilatus, and a most mischievous superstition, i.e., belief in Jesus, thus checked for the moment, again broke out not only in Judea, the first source of the evil, but even in Rome. My comment, this is a non-Christian Roman historian from near the time of Christ, reporting that Jesus lived and was killed by Pontius Pilate, and that belief in Jesus was temporarily stopped by the execution of Jesus. But belief in Jesus arose again, sometime after Jesus was killed, likely due to the resurrection. Belief in Jesus spread all the way to Rome, i.e., many of the public in Rome became Christians as a result. This is what we see in history. Pliny, Roman governor, writing in the early 2nd century AD, they, i.e., Christians, were in the habit of meeting on a certain fixed day before it was light, when they sang in alternate verses a hymn to Christ, as to a God, and bound themselves by a solemn oath, never to commit any fraud, theft, or adultery, never to falsify their word, nor deny a trust when they should be called upon to deliver it up, after which it was their custom to separate and then reassemble to partake of food, but food of an ordinary kind. My comment, this is a non-Christian Roman governor reporting about the existence of followers of Christ and their revering Jesus as God in the early 2nd century AD. Lucian, a Syrian Greek writer, writing in the early 2nd century AD, the Christians worship a man to this day. The distinguished personage, i.e. Jesus, who introduced their novel rites and was crucified on that account, it was impressed on them by their original lawgiver, i.e. Jesus, that they are all brothers from the moment that they are converted. They deny the gods of Greece and worship the crucified sage, i.e. Jesus, and live after his laws. My comment, this is a non-Christian Syrian Greek writer reporting about the existence of followers of Christ and their revering Christ as God in the early 2nd century AD. Babylonian Talmud, Jewish historical writing, on the eve of the Passover, Yeshu i.e. Jesus was killed. Before the execution of Jesus took place, a herald cried, Jesus is going forth to be killed because he has practiced sorcery, i.e. performed miracles, and enticed Israel to apostasy, i.e. Jesus claimed to be God. Thanks to Steve Duvall for the quotes. The added comments are mine. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.